the waterways of the Niger Delta have been busy with the Navy combing the creeks of the oil region for illegal refinery camps. After a successful operation in River State, the Navy moves to Bielsa in sustenance of the three-day operation codenamed Dakata da Barao, translated as Stop the Oil Thieves. I know a lot is going on with regards to our efforts at bringing oil theft to the barest minimum, which I think we are actually achieving, going by the records. It's a six-hour boat ride from the Ministry of Transportation jetty in Yenagoa, passing through the winding creeks to the fringe of Azuzuama in southern Ijo local government area, where there are telltale signs of oil pollution in the mangrove forests. Here, the operators of the illegal refinery camps are nowhere to be found, but this site reminds everyone of the sad state of the Nigerian economy. As you can see, the whole area is littered with uh, crude, crude oil. We don't live here. They are the ones living here. So if they are doing this to themselves, then uh, it's, it's a grave inhumanity to themselves and uh, the community they seek to, to protect here. Since we discovered that these uh, criminals, they are, are motivated by the buyers, because even when we deactivate, they run at a loss, the buyers are ready to bankroll them to set up this again so that they can come and continue buying. So I decided to face those those buyers through their tank, tankers that come to pick these products and we've deactivated over 20 something so far and the, the, the fear now is that any of them that you invite to come to Bayelsa to ship pick up any of this product once they say once they hear Yenegua it's a no-go area for them so that east west road is now a no-go area for all these people and we hope that with time uh, we'll be able to put them out of business discourage them completely from coming this way The bunkering boats go up in flames as we beat a hasty retreat from the area, fully ignited in few seconds. The Navy boats move to the waters of Delta State, maneuvering to Jones Creek in Warri Southwest local government area. The oily waters reveal that we are close to the site of an illegal refinery camp. Walking on marshy ground is a bit difficult, but moving forward seems easier until we arrived at an abandoned illegal refinery camp. There's really a lot of technology in detecting these sites. Its impact is very devastating. It's very, very devastating on the economy. And of course, leaving the economy aside, even the environment too, it is very, very devastating. But what we do as a service, we have our own responsibility which is you go to these places, if you detect them, um, you de deactivate. If you make arrests or you see anything, uh, you report it to the next agency that takes responsibility for prosecution, arrest, and following up on arrest of whatever perpetrators or kingpins that are supposed to be uh, involved in these things. For the international health companies and national health companies, this places once we detect them we notify them about uh, what goes on in this place the latest operation of the navy is part of concerted efforts in the fight against crude oil theft to save nigeria's ailing economy of george arise news